here's what's involved with deadheading living tree art. Now here's a branch I just took off the tree. Now living tree art is actually a tree that's made of concrete. You see it here. And then it's got all these pots of flowers in them. And then you got these drip emitters you see hanging down here. These are half gallon per hour drip emitters. And I have a course that teaches how to make the trees and what to do, what not to do, and all that. So anyway, this tree has seven branches on it, seven pots of giant pink supertunias. They love nitrogen so and iron. So I'm going to give it everything it wants. Today is August 1st. I am... I do this twice per season. Now I'm taking off literally about 90% of the flowers. As you can see here by comparison, you can see the ones that I've deadheaded already and where they are now. Now a lot of people just shiver when they see you doing this, taking off all these beautiful flowers. But if you look closely, you'll notice that the flowers are weak and spent. Some of these are really droopy uh, they got all they're all modeled and everything else so you want to get rid of those and then you want to get rid of all these little pods in here too as well these little pods have are going to go to see let me pluck one for you all right you want to get those and take them back a couple of inches if you can because those are going to go to seed and that's going to tell the plant that it's done its job so if you get rid of all of these then all of your energy is going to go back into uh, producing more flowers. And then if you give it high nitrogen and everything else, a high nitrogen fertilizer, like a 30-10-10, um, this type of plant especially loves it. This is a giant pink supertunia. Now, also, there's one other trick that you got to do. Let me climb up the ladder just so I can show you. Kind of hard with this hard light and everything else but you see how i got all this fresh dirt in there now those are actually worm castings mixed with regular good topsoil so let me show you what's actually going on here i'll give you a close-up so here is the branch i started on you see all these modeled all these modeled flowers you take those off what that does then is exposes all of these other little things. So you want to snip all of these spent ones off that go up every single stem you got to do. It takes literally a day, an entire day to do a tree. But you got to do it if you want a beautiful display. And in about a week from now, let me get around behind here, you are not going to believe the difference in this tree because now with all that added nitrogen the top dressing and everything else you will be amazed at how much growth there is in the tree not only will it be longer uh, the fronds will be longer you can um, add like a 10 54 10 afterwards which is a high i think phosphate is the middle number it's going to be like watching popcorn pop. They just come right out again and the plants will be much longer. And this will ride out for the rest of the season and it'll be just beautiful for up until about September when it starts getting really cold. Now these are cold tolerant down to 27 degrees. So this is going to be a beautiful di display into probably mid-September. Mid From here on out, it's just gorgeous. That's what's involved with living tree art pots just sit in rings up here see that cat and then the plumbing system runs underground and then goes underground and the programmable timer and everything else is concealed behind this bush there's what's involved with deadheading of living tree art a little bit of work twice a year it's worth it beautiful display